Hello, welcome to this section of Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to talk about some topics that I know all of you know at least a little bit about, uh, but we really need to make sure and cover it because you never know what certain people know and what certain people don't know. You also want to make sure that everyone has the same definition for some things that seem to be common knowledge. So we're going to talk about pie charts, bar charts, and something called a Pareto chart that you might also see on your exam. So the first thing we're going to talk about is pie chart. How many of you guys um, have uh, seen or drawn or graphed a pie chart? Basically a pie chart shows uh, data, shows raw data as fractions of a circle. Fractions of a circle, that's why it's useful. So for instance, the uh, data that we might be talking about here uh, is the favorite color of males. So let's say we do a survey or something, 10,000 men, we call them and say, hey, what's your favorite color? Some people are going to answer blue, some people are going to answer yellow, some people are going to answer red, uh, whatever, and we get all that data, and this is just a way to represent that. So what we have is uh, we have a pie chart or a pie graph. So what we do is we draw a circle because pies are circles, right? Uh, and inside of that guy, then we have certain wedges. So we have this wedge here to the center like this, right? This is about 10% of this pie, right? And I don't have enough room inside to write it, so I'll write it over here. This is yellow, like this, all right? And sometimes a pie chart uses different colors. Sometimes it's shaded. I'm not going to shade it here because I don't want to, you know, clutter up the board. But I might have another wedge over here, right, which represents, if this is 10%, this is more than that. So let's say this is 18%, right, and this is purple. So 18% of the people that answered our survey um, said that their favorite color was purple. And then we have something like, you know, this. So this guy here is 31% answered red right? Something like that. And this is not to scale. You have to bear with me here, but let's say this is 41% of the circle. And this is, these guys answer blue. Okay. So we have some people that said blue was their favorite color. Some people that said red was their favorite color. Some people said purple. Some people said yellow was their favorite color. Notice nobody said green in our particular survey. You know, nobody said pink, nobody said gray, nobody said black, whatever. So if it's not in our pie chart, then it doesn't exist. It, it's not an answer in our survey. All right. So I know you guys have seen all this kind of thing before. And basically, we represent it as parts of a circle, meaning that the whole circle, the whole pie, represent all possible answers. And we slice up that pie to represent the different slices of the answers that we get. And notice that if we take 41% plus 31% plus 18% plus 10%, we're going to get 100% because every answer in our pie should add up to be 100%. Now, a lot of day, a lot of times nowadays, you know, we use computers, software to, to make our pie charts for us. But if you had to make one of these by hand to find the wedges. I think it'd be nice just to tell you really quickly how to do that. So for instance, for the yellow wedge, I'm going to take a, you know, a bunch of uh, answers on the telephone and I'm going to end up finding that 0.1 of all of our answers, 0.1 as a fraction of our answers answered yellow. So what I do is I multiply that by 360 because there